Four state dollars have been approved to pay for security improvements around the state as we approach the one-year anniversary of the tragedy at Sandy Hook. The governor announcing today that a total of $21 million has now been given the okay for schools to make additional improvements suggested by police and other security experts. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with a closer look at some of the new technology available to school districts around the state. Good evening, Mark. Yeah, this is interesting stuff. Good evening, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The state originally gave the okay for $15 million for school security improvements around the state of Connecticut, but it had requests for $6 million more. So today, the governor gave the green light to all of it. The new security grants are going to over 100 school districts to pay for improvements at over 600 school buildings around the state. The governor saying today it's not possible to prevent every act. But we can and, and we need to, and we are obligated to, uh, make those uh, systems, those schools, as safe as we possibly can. One of the companies offering modern security systems is New Haven-based Asa Abloy, with a remarkable array of security doors and locks. It allows the teachers to come in the morning and unlock their door so that they, students are able to come and go during a normal day-to-day -day operations. Right. But in the event of emergency, the teacher can now be issued a FOB so that up to 75 feet away from the inside of the door, if you press a button from the inside of the classroom, locks the outside lever. Many schools have already installed panic buttons in the main office that immediately notify the police. But there are even more high-tech devices available. Lease is a duress and notification system that uses a facility's existing computer network to transmit panic button alarms and notifications. When the panic button's pressed, it sends an alarm that can go to the, uh, the SRO officer or the principals or any staff members that need to respond immediately. I'm here to pick up my son for a doctor's appointment. Please come to the office. Thank you. People in the office can now see who's at the door at elementary schools in Meriden and other schools around the state. Prior to Sandy Hook, many elementary school doors were unlocked. Prior to Sandy Hook, at the elementary schools in Meriden, there was just a note on the door to please report to the office. These grants will help pay for that camera system, uh, the panic button system, and lots of other stuff all around the state. And the governor says he expects more requests to be coming in, and he expects to ask the assembly for more money for school security next year. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.